Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create the shock as absorber assembly in FreeCAD and in this first uh, part of the video tutorial series we will create the screw you can see it on the screen in the left side okay so uh, the first let's activate the fastness workbench and in the fastness workbench you can download it and install from add-on manager you can find it here it is fastness workbench and install it okay and so let's open the and create the fastness and create the screw uh, for the screw let's set the diameter we will um, modify the screw um, for shock absorber because uh, we can also create the screw in manually with thread but it's very long it is very simple case we just create it here and so let's open the part design workbench and choose the screw create the body and we have the based uh, future and it is our screw we can translate it to the body also and let's start the modify the our screw M30 with diameter 30 millimeters let's create the sketch on this surface and just make the cut of this part of screw let's make it here set the 10 millimeters maybe more okay uh, it's enough and for the hour screw let's create the upside of the part so for this uh, let's create the sketch on the plane uh, for this we will be using XZ plane click OK and here let's import the external edge from our screw and create the rectangle let's make the concentrations for this for point of rectangle constraint for point with external point ok and let's set the dimensions the vertical dimensions will be 20 maybe 25 and let's create the field for our angles okay one and two and let's choose let's set let's choose the points and set the vertical dimensions again set the 25 and now we have to set the dimensions for our field radius uh, let's choose the both radiuses and for both let's set the radius cons dim dimension uh, okay and let's set 10 uh, how can you see we change for both radius and change the one dimensions it is very good trick in FreeCAD so let's set the radius for the hole let's set the dimension 6 and let's set the center of this hole it will be 12 millimeters and we have the fully connected sketch so let's choose the sketch and make the part operation symmetry to plane 
choose it and set 10 millimeters I think it is enough for this case okay and make the refine boolean uh, true and uh, now we have this some part of our support let's create the sketch on the exit plan and import the external point and create the rectangle and let's close the sketch and now we will make the revolve operation we will get some angles and we have this cylindrical shape of the our support and it looks good now and after that the second part of this video will be creation of upside of this detail let's create the sketch on the surface and let's make the import the external edge and create the circle with connection with external edge and for this circle uh, let's make the extrusion it will be 20 millimeters extrusion okay maybe set more twenty five millimeters will be enough and for the edge let's make the chamfer let's set five millimeters and for this upside let's looks good let's choose the surface and create the circle on the upside it will be the radius of six millimeters it will be the hole for, for our screw let's change uh, it to five and for our sketch uh, let's make the close and make the cut operation pocket tool uh, and let's set the lens it will be I think 8 100 100 millimeters okay and um, for watching w where our hole is let's make the transparency and now we can see the position of our hole in the detail let's set transparency 10 for example and let's return the zero transparency uh, it, so we have finished the creation of the screw detail for our shock absorber thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye